Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna share best bullock setting when it comes to buying and selling which saves you so much on gas fees. Also, in this video I'm gonna share a tool that you can use to retrieve a portion of the transactions that you already paid which is great because this is like getting free souls. I can promise at the end of this video all my viewers can get some free souls. This is not a joke. This is not a scam. Just watch this video because you will realize how this is possible. Uh, before I dive into this video, make sure to join my Telegram channel, Dev, and subscribe my YouTube. Okay, guys, let's do it. I'm on Bulex. Let's actually click on one of these. If I click on this icon, you can see the setting for buying and selling. There are many different fees and let me explain each one of them. On Solana, we have three types of fees. The first one is fixed fee. This is actually the base fee on Solana network and everyone has to pay this. It's a fixed amount. The second one is priority fee. Uh, you know, if you're in a hurry, you want to buy a token as fast as possible. Uh, you have to pay more uh, for priority fee. In this way, you can have priority. But if you're not in a hurry, you can even pay zero. Uh, it's not like a fixed fee. You, you always have to pay fixed fee. But when it comes to priority fee, it really depends on how fast you want your transaction goes through. The third fee that we have on Solana is bribe fee. And this is related to MEV protection. Before talking about MEV protection, let me actually talk about a slippage because it's quite important to know. Okay, let me give you an example. For example, let's say you want to buy a token with $1 price. When you send your transaction, this transaction will go to a place called mempool which is a public area for transactions and basically different validators pick uh, some transactions with the highest priority fee to approve them. Uh, you know, during this time when you send the transaction, the transaction goes to mempool and it gets confirmed by different val validators, the price could go up or down. And here's the important thing about a slippage. When you consider, for example, 30% a slippage, this means you are good with, uh, you know, 30% difference. This 30% difference could be good for you or bad for you. For example, you can buy the token with, uh, you know, $0.7 or you can buy it with $1.3 because you mentioned that uh, a slippage is 30%, you are okay with 30% difference. If, uh, you know, the price even exceed this uh, 30%, your transaction will fail and it never get approved. Uh, this is important thing to know. And here's uh, when the MVB bot uh, comes into place, basically MEV bots Look for some transactions with with higher slippage. For example, let's say, yeah, 30%, 50%. They see this person didn't pay for priority fee. So uh, the transaction could take longer to get approved. Also, there is a slippage. There is 30% difference. What these people usually do, these bots usually do, they will buy the token before you. They pay more for priority fee. They buy the token before you. Basically, when they buy, the price will go up. The price will increase. And when the price increase, let's say, for example, for 30%, they will dump it and they will sell their bag to you. Because you mentioned already that you're okay with 30% difference. And, uh, you know, rather than buying the token with $1, since these MVB bots, uh, you know, bought it before you because they paid more priority fee, the price will go up, it will reach to $1.3, and now they will sell their bag to you. And in this way, uh, you buy the token with $1.3, 
and the price could immediately go down and reach one dollar. We call this actually front running and we have to do our best to avoid getting front run by these MEV bots. Even if you have for example 10%, 5% slippage, it is still possible that some of these MEV bots front run your position. And that's why we always have to enable uh, MEV protection which I will talk about it in this video. As you can see in here, there are some shadows. You can see, for example, in here, here. You know, these shadows could be, for example, because of a fake breakout. You know, the dev trying to show, for example, this token will, uh, you know, break this resistance. They will pump that and after a few seconds, they dump the price. Uh, but many times, this is because of the MEV bots. Basically, these MEV bots find a good uh, transaction they will front run that person and they immediately sold out that's the reason you can see these shadows uh, now let me actually show you the best setting for bullex when it comes to fees when it comes to priority fee as i mentioned before if the token is not volatile that much you're not in hurry you can even keep this at zero but personally, uh, I suggest for some people that, you know, trade, for example, with one soul, uh, 0 0.5 soul, you can keep this at 0, 0, 002. Uh, or you can, you know, use this number in here, 0, 0, 0015. Both of them are actually good. Uh, when it comes to a slippage, I usually prefer 5 to 10 percent slippage. Uh, but for some tokens that are so hyped, the volume is insane. Sometimes I even prefer to, you know, have 30% or even 50% uh, slippage because I know I don't want to miss this opportunity. I don't want a failed transaction and I want to get into that position as soon as possible, even if the price increased by 50%. But uh, in normal transactions, trades, uh, 5 to 10 in my opinion is quite good. And uh, I always suggest to enable the MEV protection. Uh, you know, this will charge you a little more fee, but it's worth it. Uh, basically, when you have a regular transaction, your transaction will go to mempool. And everyone can see these transactions. But when you use an MEV, and MEV protection, basically your transactions will send directly to validators and these validators uh, will, uh, you know, confirm your transaction. So in this case, there is no mempool, you will directly send your transactions to validators, but these validators uh, confirm transactions based on, uh, besides the priority fee, they also look at the bribe. This is actually an in incentivize for, you know, these uh, private validators that we actually use. So if you disable your MEV protection, better to keep this at zero because uh, there is no benefit on, uh, you know, paying for bribe if your MEV protection is disabled. But if it's enabled, you can still keep this at zero, uh, but, uh, you know, your transaction probably takes longer to get approved. This is something that you have to keep in mind. You can keep this the same as priority. You can keep this, for example, 002 and, uh, you know, do uh, this transaction in this way. Uh, let me actually try this. Let me show you how this actually works. Let me put a zero priority and the slippage is max. This is enabled and let's put the bribe at zero. I want to show you how fast it is to buy this token with this setting. Uh, let me actually... I want to buy a very, very low amount of money because this actually rocked. <laughs> this uh, this is not beneficial at all to buy it. Uh, let's click on buy. Okay, let's see how many seconds it takes time to buy this. 
Okay, we bought the token. It wasn't as slow that much. It was quite good. Uh, I wouldn't sell this position because uh, it was almost zero. This is actually the fee that I paid for this transaction. Uh, this is actually base fee and this is the priority. Very, very cheap, quite low. Uh, you know, that's why uh, some people think they always have to pay for priority. But uh, that's not the case. You can, you know, skip that part if you're not in hurry. If you're in a position like this that you want, for example, you believe this token will go to the moon and uh, there's no volume, you can definitely put the priority at zero. You can even put the bribe at zero. That's totally okay. Uh, please do not buy this token. Uh, also, this wallet that I use is uh, totally for t uh, recording tutorials. It's not my main wallet. And uh, let's go to the sell setting. In sell setting, uh, it really depends on your strategy and the token. But uh, most of the time, we want to get out of the position as soon as possible. We want to sell immediately. If uh, this is your case, definitely, uh, you know, put higher uh, priority. You can even put five depending on how, uh, you know, the token uh, performs. Sometimes it's an immediate rug. Uh, you have to sell it as soon as possible and you have to, you know, consider a higher, uh, you know, a slippage. It really depends on the token. But when it comes to selling, uh, you can disable MEV protection because, uh, you know, this protection is useful for buying. Uh, there is no way that uh, an, ME, an MEV bot can front run you when you want to sell. As I told you before, you have to buy and they, uh, those MEV bots, uh, you know, front run you to give you those tokens in a higher price. That's the reason always disable this when it comes to selling and definitely keep this at zero. This is actually the setting that you can use. It really depends on your strategy, your budget, and how fast you want to do the transaction. For those viewers who are still with me, this is my gift to you. Now you can use a slow tunnel toolkit to get some free souls. Basically, whenever you trade meme coins, you create some accounts and the Solana chain doesn't close them and a little soul usually left over in those accounts. By closing them, by using this tool, you can actually recycle uh, and retrieve a portion of those souls, which is great. And here's the interesting part. For example, I use my account only a few times to buy different tokens. This is not my main account and I use this for, uh, you know, recording tutorials. But even with this account, I can retrieve 0.01 uh, so which is great. This is free money. If you traded so many meme coins, you can even, uh, you know, retrieve one soul or two soul. If you, uh, you know, search their name on Twitter, you can see many people that they retrieved souls uh, by using this tool. You can see in here 331 soul recovered by using this tool. Let me actually uh, click on start cleanup to retrieve this amount. Click on confirm. Okay, I was able to close those accounts and I got those sold. You know, uh, my balance before doing this was something around two or three dollars, but as you can see, I got this. Uh, as I told you, I don't use this account much. Uh, so if you traded so many meme coins, congratulations, you can, uh, you know, get so many souls for free. This is great. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe the channel, like the video and join my telegram channel. Cheers viewers, hope to see you in my next videos.